In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how Action Threshold software works so you can see how it can benefit you in your trading. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about what these blue boxes mean on the ATS software. The blue boxes, what they mean is very, very simple. These are areas that you do not want to open up trades in. These are areas where price has confirmed no predominant direction. If you're looking to enter a trade and price goes into a box, this would be a good time to get out of that trade. You would want to wait for price to break the high or low of the box and then look for an entry after that. Next we're going to talk about liquidity lines and what liquidity lines mean. Liquidity lines are created when the ATS algorithm identifies an ideal situation where retail traders have most likely entered the market. These situations happen when the market unfolds in such a way as to allow easy access into a trend according to traditional widely taught entry strategies. Even though these strategies can provide entry into a profitable position for the average retail trader, most traders do not close their trades while in profit. This is evident by the 95% industry standard of traders who consistently lose money. Since the market ranges up and down roughly 95% of the time, this means if you hold on to a profitable position long enough, your position will almost certainly become unprofitable in the future, and usually it's a very near future. This pattern of market behavior is driven by the big financial institutions' need for liquidity to fill their own trading positions. Clearly identifying where retail traders will close their positions provides big investment banks with the knowledge where there will be sufficient liquidity released into the market for them to close out their large positions or enter new positions. Based on the understanding of how big institutions need to trade, liquidity lines are programmed to appear at levels where those entering the market at that price will become discouraged about that specific trading position should price return to that level before they have closed their trade. This brings us to an important point for you to keep in mind. Liquidity exchanged in the market always must be evenly matched. If you want to sell the market, there needs to be another willing to buy the market at the very same price level and vice versa. Due to the predictable trading behavior of retail traders, both technically and emotionally, it makes sense that the smart money who consistently profits from the market would use retail traders widely taught strategies and overly emotional behavior against them for their own profit. This is the context in which you should try to understand the function and use of liquidity lines. This information provides ATS traders with a kind of map to base your entry and exit strategies upon, allowing you to use liquidity in the market the same way the big institutions do. With proper understanding and execution, this becomes a big part of what gives ATS traders their edge in the markets. So how do you use liquidity lines? When an ideal entry situation, according to the traditionally educated masses, has been identified by ATS software, it will generate a new liquidity line. If it's associated with selling activity, the line will appear red. If it's associated with buying activity, it will appear green. Liquidity lines will paint forward showing price levels where traders are still holding potentially profitable positions. These lines will continue until price returns to these levels, thus stopping any further progression of the liquidity line. Liquidity lines can be used in two different ways. Liquidity lines can be used to exit profitable trades. When in a profitable trade, liquidity lines can be used as potential profit targets for that trade. In a trending market, you'll usually see price reactions when a prior liquidity line level has been met with current price. This happens because the big institutions are most likely scaling out of their positions at these same levels. Let's look at this another way, just to make sure this concept is perfectly clear. When a liquidity line is generated, this means that retail traders have most likely opened new trades that the ATS algorithm identifies as potentially risky. The liquidity line generated is drawn at the price level where, if price should come back to this level, the traders who have not closed their positions will start to feel uncomfortable with their trading decision. If a green liquidity line is hit, this means a trader who opened a trade at this price level previously are now being pressured into closing their trades, causing them to now sell. The big investment firms can either allow this flood of sell liquidity to continue to drive down the market, furthering the current trend, or they can accumulate this liquidity to either close out their existing positions or enter new positions. 
That is why it's a good strategy for you to do the same and close your profitable trades at these levels, or at least cautiously monitor your positions in case of a market reversal. This will help you to consistently book profitable trades while others consistently let the market take their profits away. This brings us to the second way you can use liquidity lines. Liquidity lines can be used as levels to enter trading positions. For instance, when there is an established trend and price meets a liquidity line level of the opposite direction, the liquidity released from this market activity will most likely be accumulated by the big market players as an entry into the predominantly formed trend. By using available market liquidity the same way, you align yourself with the big institution's trading strategies, putting you in a similarly strong trading position in that existing trend. Now let's talk about expansion lines. What do they mean? Expansion lines signal that the market is now opening up and ready for its next move to get underway. They also signal that possible market manipulation by the big institutions has taken place. In live trading, expansion lines serve as the dividing point between buying and selling activity in the market. You will notice that many new expansion lines are followed by market activity that whips back and forth until it settles on a trending direction. For those who do not understand this price pattern, this can result in significant losses. This is mainly because this type of price activity induces retail traders into entering the market, usually multiple times, in the wrong direction. This information is groundbreaking and completely unique to ATS software, providing our traders a substantial edge in the markets. By understanding this type of price action, this helps ATS traders not only avoid heavy losses in this area, it also cues ATS traders that a new trending move is coming soon, helping them capitalize on the real market payout periods, also known as the trend. So, how do you use expansion lines when trading? Expansion lines give three specific pieces of information for trading purposes. Expansion lines provide ATS traders with what we call a directional bias. When we form a directional bias, this means that we are only looking for trades in a specific direction. For example, if current price is below the last expansion line on the larger time frame, then ATS traders would only look for selling opportunities on the smaller time frame chart. If current price is above the last expansion line on the larger time frame, then this means that we are only looking for buying opportunities on our smaller time frame chart. The main reason for establishing a directional bias according to price position above or below the last expansion line is because we know price will either trend up or down from this level. If we trade against the expansion line, this could cause us to miss big opportunities and create substantial losses. Expansion lines provide us with ideal entry opportunities into the market. When a trend is currently underway in line with your directional bias on the larger time frame chart, you can use expansion lines on the smaller time frame chart for entry into the overall trend. Here's an example. If the trend is clearly short on the larger time frame, you can safely conclude that all price activity that is above the current expansion line on your entry chart will be used by the smart money firms as liquidity to enter the existing trend. This happens because during a period of expansion, many traders will be induced to trade against the trend, creating floods of counter trend liquidity. This provides ideal opportunity to take the other side of these counter trend trades, knowing there's a high probability they're going to be losing trades for those traders. This information gives ATS traders ideal trade placement into the trend while also limiting their risk if the trend does not continue. Expansion lines provide exact levels for trade management. You can use expansion lines to help monitor your risk when entering a new trade. For example, if you're entering a buy position under the last expansion line on your smaller time frame chart, you can use a previous expansion line for your stop loss level should the trade not go your way. If you enter a long trade and price dips below this previous level, then more than likely the trend is not what you thought it was. This is a good place to take a small loss and reevaluate the market. Here's an example of good trade entry management. 
If you have decided to buy the market under the last expansion line on your entry chart, you would then be expecting price to come back through the expansion level and put you into the money. What if this never actually happens though? If during the progress of this trade, you see that price is continuing to hold below the expansion level, this could be a sign of a market reversal or a deeper trend correction than previously thought. In this case, you would be careful to monitor your position closely and possibly even close your trade with a small loss while observing the outcome of this price activity. You can also use expansion lines to monitor your profits. For example, on a buying opportunity, once price gets over the current expansion line, you'll possibly be in the money on your trade. At this point, you can conclude that two things are going to happen. If the current price holds above the last expansion line, there's a good chance that it will turn into a run within the existing trend, providing you with more profits for your trade. If price comes back through the current expansion line after putting you into the money, then the trend might possibly be over. This may be a good time to close the trade at break even, or even with a small profit, and reevaluate the market. Well, this about wraps up this video walkthrough of Action Threshold Software. Thank you for watching.